Marshall was uh, absolutely groundbreaking. Kicks ass. Great on stage, great music. They had it all going on. These guys are rock and roll. And here they set the tempo for what we all do. Yeah, I mean, whatever happened to those assholes? Behind the music. The local band that everyone knew but nobody talked about didn't start out as your usual rock and roll band. And from those humble beginnings started a heavy metal journey that baffled and enthralled the entire metal community. I totally heard about them and the first time I saw them I was kind of like, what the fuck am I looking at? The fact that they just kind of never showed up and vanished was to me probably the most metal move they could have made. These schmucks didn't know it at the time, but they were about to be signed to the most lucrative contract in rock and roll history. Wait. The manager said for them to show up at the showcase, to go to the showcase, they thought, he said, go get shit-faced. That was the last time anybody heard from them. When I was an intern at Atlantic Records, I'm now running Universal Republic, and one day I get this mysterious package in the mail. I open it up, there's a disc, so of course I'm intrigued. I put it in, and I'm here to tell you, without question, the best rock album I've ever heard. That's fucking freaky. We're back. It's a fucking heavy metal record, and when you hear it, you're gonna shit your dick off. This is a great fucking record. It's the first real rock record in what, 20 years? To me, it was worth a 20 year wait. That's crazy, man. 20 years to make a record. Who would do that? will go on like that never-ending story movie, but not as gay. I think he's right. There's something about this that, that, that's so black. It's like, how much more black could this be? And the answer is none. None is that good? more black. I think you'd like, you'd like rationalize.